Good evening. This is Apostle Venetia Adams with Continuing Truth Ministry. And on tonight is our Golden Nuggets Bible study. I have an interesting topic to talk with you about to, to let you know the mind and the heart of our Lord and Savior. And also how God, how he with his magnificent sovereignty laid it all out for us so that we would know who we are, especially in Christ Jesus. And so let's take a look at it because did you know that God consider us as God? That's a little bit much for you, for some of you, huh? But God consider us as God. And he always already told us in his word to kind of not Robert to even have a mind like Christ. And so therefore, let's look at this term he calls us for those who represent him in the earth. He calls us God. Hallelujah. With the little G. Okay. Let's turn to Exodus. Exodus chapter 7 verse 1. And the Lord said unto Moses, See, I have made thee a God to Pharaoh, and Aaron thy brother shall be thy prophet. Now, when God sent Moses to Pharaoh, of course, you know, he was telling uh, uh, Moses to tell Pharaoh to let the children of Israel go. But all the things that God represented, hallelujah, he put that power, hallelujah, up on, hallelujah, Moses, not the indwelling, but the up on Moses. And you know, he carried his mantle. He carried his staff. Hallelujah. And he performed miracles. Hallelujah. Uh, um, through Moses. Hallelujah. And so what Pharaoh saw was um, uh, the power of God. And so just like us today who have the Holy Spirit indwelling in us, we have that power of God, hallelujah. And so when we represent him in this earth, hallelujah, we are representing God, hallelujah. So he calls us God, hallelujah. And so now we've just read Exodus 7 and 1, but let's, let's just go on. Let's look at Philippians 2. Philippians 2. Because one thing for sure, we want to get the the whole thing on it. And in Philippians 2, what it says, especially in the 5th through the 11th verse, let's look at it. And we're going to take our time on tonight because this may be a part 2. But in Philippians 2, hallelujah, I hope you have your paper and pencil and your Bible with you hallelujah so you can take some notes if you don't do any more but write down these scriptures so you can go back and and sub them afterwards um it will it will help you uh, a lot because you will see the the heart and the mind of god hallelujah and how much he values his children that's why you can even understand after this uh bible study the inheritance that he gave us, for this is the inheritance that he gave us. Okay, then. So now, uh, Philippians 2, 5, and 11 says this. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, okay, thought it not robbery to be equal with God but made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore God also hath highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Now, if we just look at uh, verses 5 and, and 6, we say we can see that let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God. 
Well, we know that Jesus came uh, in the likeness of man, but he also was the son of man, but he also was the son of God. And so when we have the indwelling of the Holy Spirit, which gives us power, that same power, hallelujah, that God has given him and, and walks in himself because God is a spirit, hallelujah. And we that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. So that same spirit, that same power that he gave Jesus, Jesus, hallelujah, passed it on to us, hallelujah. So therefore, it says, let this mind be in you. So we have that same mind, hallelujah, of God. We have that same mind of Christ. Because it says, which was also in Christ Jesus, who's being in the form of God, hallelujah. So therefore, when we're walking in this earth, we are representing God and we are in the form of God just like Christ was hallelujah he was he was uh in the body of a man but the spirit of the living God dwelled on the inside of him and so the same goes with us so therefore hallelujah we don't have to count it robbery to have the same mind like Christ we don't have to count it robbery when he has freely given us hallelujah, the Holy Spirit, hallelujah, that same Holy Spirit, hallelujah, that worked in concert with him in performing miracles. We have that same power inside of us. Now, let's just think about this thing for a minute because it may be kind of uh, hard for you maybe to conceptualize, but let me see if I can bring it into focus uh, for you. Listen, God never hallelujah, or let me rephrase that, God really, really thought about hallelujah man. When he made man in his image, in his likeness, hallelujah, he really thought about that thing, and he really wanted us to know him uh, and know the power therein, he didn't mind humbling himself, hallelujah, to give us that same power. Let me say it again. He did not mind humbling himself, hallelujah, to give us that same power. Because when, when, when there was a war in heaven, and that was uh, between God's angels, hallelujah, and Satan's angels or followers, this that, and the other. It was Satan's number one goal, hallelujah, to discredit anything that God has ever done. That's Satan's number one thing, to discredit God at any cost. So that's why when it comes to man and him touching man in anything, God fights our battles for us so that he can redeem us from darkness. So therefore, he said, let me give man the indwelling of the Holy Spirit so that he can not only walk in the power, but live in it on a daily basis. And so now God is all powerful. We know that He's all knowing. We know that He 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 He's comprised. Uh, uh, he did not compromise His status when He allowed Himself, Hallelujah, to be a part of us. As a matter of fact, Hallelujah, the disciples was told to go to the upper room and not to go into the world to preach the gospel until they became endowed with power and that power was the holy ghost hallelujah because it says in scripture uh, when the holy ghost comes upon you hallelujah you shall receive power that's so that you can endure all the things that is going on in the world that you will be able to snatch men women boys and girls out of darkness hallelujah that you will be able to 
to not only hear me when I speak to you, but you will also be able to talk to me as well. See, God don't mind us talking to him. Hallelujah. Matter of fact, he loves the communion. And that's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to talk to our father and our father talk back to us. Hallelujah. Do you not talk to your father? Hallelujah. Your earthly father, this and the other. And you talk to him and he talks back to you. Uh, prayerfully that he does and so now our heavenly father has that same same want and that same desire that we talk to him and so therefore through the holy spirit he has given us power he has given us sight and insight into side of uh, revelations hallelujah and he's given us the ability and he does not mind sharing his power so that we can defeat the enemy that's the number one thing we have to defeat the enemy because we don't want the enemy hallelujah to overtake us in anything that's why we pray the prayer father deliver us from evil hallelujah uh, uh for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and then, oh man. But God didn't even have to compromise who he was to give us the Holy Spirit. And those that represent him through the Spirit, hallelujah, he calls God. And Jesus is going to attest to the fact. So let's keep going. First Corinthians, turn to First Corinthians. First Corinthians, second chapter. 1 Corinthians 2nd chapter. First Corinthians 2nd chapter, verse 16 says this. Now listen to what what what, what is being said right here in 1 Corinthians 2, verse 16. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? Know ye not that you are the temple of God, meaning these bodies are the temple of God. So therefore, if we are the temple of God, God reigns in his temple. God must reign in his temple if we are the temple of God. So God reigns in us through the Holy Spirit. And so therefore, if we have his Holy Spirit, then we are of him so therefore he is god almighty but we are gods hallelujah walking in this earth representing hallelujah our heavenly father in the things that we say and the things that we do hallelujah and so therefore know ye not that ye are the temple of god and that the spirit of god dwelleth in you so God has specifically given us and telling us who we are, hallelujah, so that we will know, hallelujah, not only who we are, but from whom we came, which will tell us our lineage, which will tell us our inheritance. Glory be to God. That was a shock right there. He, 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 he wants us to know who we are and where we came from. We need to know our lineage. Everybody needs to know uh, who they're related to, this, that, and the other. But God is making this very, very clear to us that we are of him, hallelujah. And since we are of him, hallelujah, and we are the sons of God, or the manifested sons of God, hallelujah, uh, being and kind of not robbery, robbery to have the mind of Christ, hallelujah, his son, Christ Jesus, whom he also had the Holy Spirit. We don't have to uh, worry about representing him because he that's what we're supposed to do. That's what we're supposed to do. Now look at Psalms 82 and 6. Psalms 82 and 6. Psalms 82 and 6. Now Psalms 82 and 6 is, is just a, a, a brief scripture. And it just says this. I have said, ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. I have said, ye are God, with a little g, and all of you are children of the Most High. 
that is wonderful to know that Christ considers us equal, God and Christ considers us equal to them. Hallelujah. After all, we were not uh, nailed to a cross like our, our Jesus was, but do we not go through a uh, 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 persecution? Do we not go through uh, um, all kinds of manners of beatings and, and, and tauntings and, and all kinds of humiliation, the same as Jesus did? So therefore, we count it not robbery. We, we count ourselves equal. We count ourselves having been, it's, been, it's a privilege to go through those things because Christ went through them. And he went through us and he gave us a, an indelible track record in knowing that if I can go through all the trials and tribulations that I went through, hallelujah, then you can go through it too. As a matter of fact, not only can you go through it, since I've been through it already, you can always call on me. You can always call on me and I'm going to be right there with you in spirit. Hallelujah. And I'm going to always be there to strengthen you. And so with that in mind, glory be to God, that's a shout right there because God is telling us, I love man so much. I created him. I created him in my image and my likeness, meaning character. Hallelujah. And so therefore, I don't mind sharing what I have because that power I'm giving you, that's your inheritance. Hallelujah. That's your inheritance as well as when you finish this race. Hallelujah. I got a mansion waiting for you. I got a mansion waiting for you. Hallelujah. To let everybody know that you, that you, you are able and you are worthy. Hallelujah. To walk these streets of gold. You are able. Hallelujah. To wear your crown. Hallelujah. And walk among your other brothers and sisters, hallelujah, and, and let everybody know that I made it, hallelujah. I did just what my my, uh, my Lord and Savior told me to do. I walked the way my Lord and Savior told me how to walk. I, I lived the way my Lord and Savior told me how to live. So therefore, I got a crown waiting for me in glory. Hallelujah. And that's my reward. And so I'm glad about it. But while I was down here in this earth, hallelujah, I slayed many devils. I slayed many demons. Hallelujah. I dodged uh, 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 the bullet. Hallelujah. Like some of us say. I was able to snatch some of my brothers and sisters out of darkness. Hallelujah. I witnessed to, to, to others. Hallelujah. I did those things that, that my Lord and Savior told me to do. Hallelujah. Fight the good fight of faith. Hallelujah. So therefore, since I'm doing this representing, uh, hallelujah, of my father, then God considers us as God with a little G. Now let's go to uh, St. John. Let's go to the book of St. John. St. John. St. John 17. Now, St. John 17, 1 through 26. Now, this is uh, the Lord praying here. And I really want you to take a look at um, and really pay attention to what he's saying in his prayer to his father. Because this, this right here is not only telling you why he was sent to earth, but he's also telling his father, God, that He's completed the assignment. And now look at it. He's saying it in a prayer. Now let's look at this Lord's prayer. And he's glorifying the, the, the Father but through this prayer. So let's look at it. These words spake Jesus and lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour is come. Glorify thy son that thy son also may glorify thee. As thou hast given him power over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him. Now look what Jesus is saying. Now you have given me 
power over all flesh. That, that you also gave me eternal life and you gave it to me so that I can give to others, hallelujah, that wanted it as well. And this is life eternal, that they might know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. I have glorified thee on the earth. Now look what Jesus is telling God. I have glorified thee on the earth. I have finished the work which thou gavest me to do. And now, O oh Father, glorify thou me with thine own self, with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. It's a beautiful prayer. It's a beautiful thanksgiving that he's telling his father, Father, I've done the work that you sent me to do. And that that you gave me, I gave it freely to those who wanted it. Look what else he's saying. And now, O oh Father, glorify me with thine own self, with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. That is why it's so important that we come out of this world. Hallelujah. We live in this world, but we are not of this world. And Jesus has said, I have manifested that. I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. Thine, thine they were, and thou gavest them me, and they have kept thy word. Now look what he's saying to those who were saved. They have kept those words, those who was walking with Jesus and this, that, and other. He said, they have kept your word. Now they have known that all things whatsoever thou hast given me are of thee. Those things that Christ has given us is of God. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit is of God. And Jesus is saying, I've done just what you sent me in this world to do. And those that you gave me, I gave it to them too. Father, I gave it to them freely. And then he says, For I have given unto them the words which thou gavest me, and they have received them, and have known surely that I came out from thee, and they believed that thou didst send me. Those who heard the word, hallelujah, believed that he was the son of God, hallelujah. And so therefore, he was happy. He said, because they know, they knew surely that I came from thee, and they have believed that thou didst send me. I pray for them. I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me, for they are thine. Jesus is saying, I pray for for those that are like God that took you, hallelujah, and believed that you, hallelujah, was God and that I was the son of God. And also, Father, he said, I don't pray for the world, but for them which thou hast given me, because those that you had gave me when Jesus was walking this earth, he said, I give them back to you because they are yours anyway. And all mine are thine, and thine are mine, and I am glorified in them. And now I am no more in the world, but these are in the world, and I come to thee. Holy Father, keep through thine own name those whom thou hast given me, that they may be one as we are. Look what Jesus is saying, the same power that you gave me. God, I want you to give it to them. Hallelujah. And I just want them to be blessed just like you blessed me. I want them to be blessed also. So God, those that you gave me, keep them. Keep through thine own name those whom thou hast given me that they may be one as we are one. While I was with them in the world, I kept them in thy name. 
Those that thou gavest me I have kept, and none of them is lost, but the son of perdition. And the son of perdition we know is Satan. He's lost. That the scriptures might be fulfilled. He said, I kept them, the Lord God. I kept them in the word, hallelujah. I taught them the word, hallelujah. I walked in the word. I lived in the word, word, hallelujah. And they have fulfilled the scriptures, hallelujah. So therefore, keep them. Lord, I pray that you keep them. And that's, that's why he's making intercession. That's the intercession right there. He's asking God, hallelujah, to keep us, hallelujah, because he has given us the power of the Holy Ghost. He has given us the power of God. And he has given us that example, hallelujah, to where as we can have the strength, hallelujah, as well as the power to walk in this world, for we are not of this world. But God said, hallelujah, Jesus said, hallelujah, Father, I, I, I did that. I finished my course. I've done just what you asked me to do. Now I'm asking you to keep them. Isn't that a beautiful prayer that Jesus is praying to his father to let us know, now, I was your representative. I was the son of God. I was that little God, hallelujah, that was walking here representing you. Now they are doing the same thing. Now look what else Jesus said. And now I come, and now come I to thee, and these things I speak in the world that they might have joy fulfilled in themselves. I have given them thy word, and the world hath hated them, because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but that thou shouldest keep them from evil. That's part of that intercession. He's praying to his father that will be kept from evil. That's just how much he loves us. That's just how much he cares for us. And so now we are little gods to him because we have that same mind of Christ. Hallelujah. We want to do the things that Christ did because Christ said to the disciples, greater works will you do in my name. Greater works that you will do in my name. And so that's what we're calling, and that's why he's calling the church and getting the church, hallelujah, in its full capacity right now inside of this pandemic so that we can be strong, a stronger, hallelujah, not only in walking in the world, living in the world, but to perform, hallelujah, miracles in this world through the power of a Holy Ghost, hallelujah. The Holy Ghost is just not so that we can have evidence of speaking in tongues. The Holy Ghost is power. And we need to know how to use that power. We need to know how to walk in that power. We need to know how to talk in that power. So that, hallelujah, that we can be the good representation, hallelujah, of God, hallelujah. Because that's what we are. He said, count and not robber, that you be equal to me. Hallelujah. And to have the mind of Christ, to, to, to have the, 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 not only the mind, but the embodiment, hallelujah, as far as the image and the likeness, hallelujah, but also that he knows that we have the power. So we have a, re we have a responsibility, hallelujah, in fulfilling that what God had Jesus to do, he expects us to do as well. And Jesus went on to say, greater works will you do in my name. Greater works. So therefore, hallelujah, we representing God, hallelujah, in this earth, we are considered God. Hallelujah. Let's look at, uh, well, let's keep going to, um, This is God's, uh, Jesus' prayer right here. But let's go to 1 John 5. Let's go to 1 John 5. 1 John 5.
First John 5, 6 through 12 says this. This is he that came by water and blood, even Jesus Christ, not by water only, but by water and blood. And it is the spirit that beareth witness, because the spirit is true. For there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. And these three are one. Okay, well, if the Word and the Father and the Holy Ghost are three, and but they're all one, then that means we are one with him as well. That means we are equal to him as well. That means that we are little gods walking in this earth. Hallelujah. Just like Jesus. Because uh, 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 God told Moses back, you remember we, in, uh, in uh, um, Exodus 7 and 1, he said, I told you, I've made you a god. And that's how Pharaoh sees you. In other words, I gave you the power, just like I have, hallelujah, to do the powerful things that I will do in this earth. I imported it upon you. So I made you a God. And so therefore, you do the things, hallelujah, that I have told you to do and commissioned you to do. And we know that Moses did that. And it was also transferred to Jesus. Hallelujah. And Jesus transferred it on to us. us. So therefore, we should not take this sonship, hallelujah, we, not, we should not take this Godship lightly because God has given us such a precious gift, hallelujah, until we want to do that what God is calling us to do. We want to represent God in this earth. We want to defeat the enemy. Hallelujah. We want, hallelujah, to save somebody from the snares of the enemy. We want these things. These are our desires. Hallelujah. Because anytime he did it for us, we would want to do it for somebody else. Hallelujah. You can't have a good thing, hallelujah, and not tell somebody. You can't eat a, a, a wonderful dish of food and not tell somebody how good it is. So that's the same thing with Christ. Christ is so good in our lives, hallelujah, until we got to tell somebody. And if we can snatch somebody or turn somebody around out of darkness, that's what we'll do. And that's what we're supposed to do. So we are equal to God in that he calls us gods with a little g, hallelujah, that walks and represents him in this earth. Remember Psalms 82, 6 says, I have said, ye are gods, and all of you are children of the most high. That Psalms 82, 6, I have said, Ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. Those of us who have the indwelling of the Holy Spirit, uh, uh, Christ is saying, I say, you are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. That's why it's important, hallelujah, that we will, don't devour one another. And we should not. If we have the mind of Christ, then we love like Christ loved. We, 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 we perform those things like Christ did. Hallelujah. And I know sometimes some of us have had teachings to where it says that um, God is all sovereign. God is uh, omnipotent, omniscient, and this and other. And he is that. But he gave us power. And he told us, he said, Jesus told us that you're going to do greater works. Hallelujah. And so while we're in this work, in this earth, just like Jesus walked this earth, hallelujah, healing, setting people free, preaching the gospel, hallelujah, teaching the word, hallelujah, the same that we do, the same that we should do, hallelujah. Because if I'm important, what God has given me to you, you import to somebody else, somebody imported to somebody else, and prayerfully that they will get it right, hallelujah, inside of that importation so that that other person can learn it as well. And then that's why it's a good thing for to bring persons, hallelujah, to Bible study with you, to church with you, this, that, and other, so they can hear for themselves. 
so that they can hear from themselves the goodness of the Lord, so they can hear these scriptures these, them, their, uh, themselves, hallelujah, to, to go back and study the word of God, hallelujah, because it's nothing like, hallelujah, getting the word for yourself. Now, another thing, hallelujah, when he said to count it not robbery to have the mind of Christ, to have the mind of Christ is righteousness. To have the mind of Christ is love. And we're going to see that. Let's go a little further in First John uh, 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 5. First John 5. Hallelujah. We just got to reading that. But let's go back to, to the 6. This is he that came by water and blood, even Jesus Christ, not by water only, but by water and blood. And it is the spirit that beareth witness because the spirit is true. Well, we know that when Jesus was pierced in his side on the cross, blood and water came out. Blood and water came back, came out from the uh, 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 uh baptism is as well as the, uh, salvation blood and water so therefore this is he that came by water and blood even jesus christ not by just baptism only but by water and blood hallelujah and it's the spirit that bears the witness so when we have the holy spirit it's a witness it's a witness to our, our testimony. It's a witness to our lifestyle. It's a witness to the word. It witnesses unto us because the Holy Ghost says it's going to lead and guide us into truth. And the word is the truth. So therefore, the Holy Spirit, hallelujah, is a powerful thing. Because after all, hallelujah, when we allow God, hallelujah, to Speak to us through the Holy Spirit and teach us through the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. We have a wonderful thing. We have a powerful thing inside of us, which is the Holy Spirit. And it's just not, like I said, to know that you uh, speak in tongues. Hallelujah. But are you doing the work inside uh, with the power? What are you doing with the, with the Holy Ghost? Is it just sitting there dormant? Because the Holy Ghost is powerful, hallelujah. So it's ready, hallelujah, to do anything and everything that you command it to do inside of walking inside of Christ. It's in you. So therefore, it, it'll do just what you have said and uttered out your mouth for it to do. Glory be to God. <laughs> don't, don't we speak the word? Hallelujah. Do not we speak the word? Did not God speak the word and speak existence? Hallelujah. Into an, an empty world. Hallelujah. So therefore, when we speak the word, hallelujah, like Jesus just spoke the word, hallelujah, and, and the centurion soldier servant was here that same hour, hallelujah, the same utterances that we have when we speak the word, hallelujah, I send the word of, of God, I send the Holy Ghost to heal you, hallelujah, to, to transform you, to, to heal you, to transform you, to change uh, 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 atmospheres and dimensions, hallelujah, and realms, hallelujah, Hallelujah. So that these things can come to pass, hallelujah, inside of uttering a word, hallelujah, because we have the power of the Holy Ghost inside of us. So therefore, God says, I have said, I didn't say it, I have said, Psalms 82 and 6, I have said, ye are God, and all of you are children of the Most High. That's why we don't take this walk, walk lightly, and we shouldn't take it lightly, because God has put such a responsibility in us that we should not take it lightly. Okay, let's go to 9 and 10, hallelujah, in the same uh, 1 John, 1 John 2, 1 John 2, let's go to 1 John 2. 1 John 2. 5 and 6 says this, But whosoever keepeth his word in him, verily is the love of God perfected. Hereby know we that we are in him. That's confirmation that we are in him. Him meaning the, 
the Holy Spirit, that we are in God, hallelujah, through the Holy Spirit. And he that saith he abideth in him ought himself also to walk even as he walked, meaning that even as God walked, even as Christ walked, who was the son of God, and we are the sons of God, hallelujah, little gods that are walking in this earth performing the things that Jesus was doing in this earth. Because when I go, hallelujah, and I, I visit the sick, this, that, and the other, and I lay hands on the sick, I'm expecting them to, 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 to be here. I'm expecting them to recover. Because I have the greater one on the inside of me. I'm expecting that. Hallelujah. I'm believing that. Hallelujah. And when it comes to pass, hallelujah, I throw up my hands and I say glory be to God. Hallelujah. Because that's what I'm there for. When we walk into a room, we should shift, hallelujah, the atmosphere, glory be to God. And people will know, hallelujah, that the presence of God is in the room. Praise the Lord. So now let's look at, hallelujah, verses 9 and 10 in the same uh, chapter. Chapter 2, 1 John, chapter 2, verses 9 and 10. He that said he is in the light and hated his brother is in darkness even until now. He that loveth his brother abided in the light and there is none occasion of stumbling in him. And so this is just letting us know to make sure, hallelujah, that these things can come to pass and that we know that we should uh, uh, um, check ourselves daily. Paul said, I have to beat my flesh down daily, hallelujah. I have to beat my flesh and mind down daily, hallelujah, so that I know that I will stay in the spirit of the Lord, hallelujah, because Satan will come with, with all kinds of suggestions to us to let us, uh, uh, to veer us off course, hallelujah. He will send people, he will send interruptions, whatever he can do to get you off center or to get you off focus, that's what he will do. So that's why Paul said, I have to beat my flesh, my flesh and mind down daily, hallelujah, because Satan, that's what Satan is going to do. He's going to send all types of interruptions, hallelujah. You're studying in this, that, and all that. You, 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 you trying to take care of something and the phone rings, hallelujah. And and people don't know, hallelujah, what you're doing. That's why they ask you, how you doing? And what you doing? This, that, and other. But it is not, hallelujah, and it should not. And you should not allow it to take you off focus of what God is trying to have you to do. As a matter of fact, hallelujah, uh, if you can, hallelujah, if you think that you're going to lose your focus, then you need to tell the person, hallelujah, that you need to call them back so that you can stay on focus so God can, can finish talking to you and giving you utterances, uh, uh, revelations that he wants to give you. In that same chapter, hallelujah, let, let, let's look at verses 27, 29. But the anointing which ye have received of him abideth in you. Remember, I tell you, I told you that the anointing is God upon flesh. Hallelujah. So now if we have uh, God is the spirit, so if we have the spirit of a living God inside of us, we are anointed. We always think other people are anointed, hallelujah, because they, they so powerful and they can, you know, bring the word, this, that, and other. But if we have the Holy Spirit within the side of us, we are anointed. And with the anointing comes power. But the anointing which ye have received of him abideth in you, and ye need not that any man teach you. But as the same anointing teacheth you, of all things, and is true, and is no lie, and even as it hath taught you, ye shall abide in him. And now, little children, abide in him, that when he shall appear, we may have confidence and not be ashamed before him at his coming. Of course we're not going to be ashamed at his coming, because that 
anointing that he has placed inside of us through the Holy Spirit, hallelujah, is going to transform us, hallelujah. And when he comes, we are going to be changed. The Bible said we're going to be changed in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, to where we're going to be a glorious body and we're going to be a spirit just like him. This, this flesh of our, this, this is this corruptible, but the spirit of the Lord is incorruptible. And so therefore, we're going to be changed in a moment in a twinkling of the eye, hallelujah, and, 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 and we're going to be in our glorified bodies. With these flesh, this flesh is not going to be no more. We're going to have our spirit man is going to come up. And our spirit man is going to be glorified just like God is being glorified through us. And because we have the Holy Spirit in it. And God is already a spirit. So even Jesus said, I want you to be glorified. I want you to be magnified. Because I want you, I want the world to see. The Bible says, if I be lifted up, God said, if I be lifted up, I draw all men of them. And, and, and if I be lifted up through the glorification, me giving you praises and, and, and glory and, and worshiping you, hallelujah, I'm lifting you up. I'm lifting you up, hallelujah. And so, therefore, all the world can see, hallelujah, how a great. God that I serve and who my father is, hallelujah. So therefore, hallelujah, I'm just saying praise you and glorifying you because you're worthy to be praised. You're worthy because of your glorification, because of your sovereignty, because of your you being all powerful and all knowing, this that, and other. You can't help but be glorified, hallelujah, because you're all of that, hallelujah, and some more. So therefore, hallelujah, when we look at ourselves, when we look at ourselves as in the man in the mirror, and we look at ourselves, know, hallelujah, that we are little gods walking this earth as representatives of God himself because he tells us, I have said, Ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. Good God Almighty, that's some good news. I don't know about you, but that's some good news. It puts a different perspective on who we are inside of Christ Jesus. It puts a different a uh, 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 mindset, uh, you know, that we that 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 we have. Hallelujah! It puts us in a place, Hallelujah, to where as we think about how much God thinks about us, Hallelujah, that God didn't count it robbery that we have the same mind as Him, that that we have the same same power and the abilities that he has. It puts us in a place how much he loves us and how much he wants us to be victorious in this life. Hallelujah. And walk in faith. Hallelujah. Talk in faith and live in faith. It puts us in a different life, life to know that God really loves us to share. Hallelujah. His spirit with us, hallelujah, because he didn't have to do it. He didn't have to do it. He didn't have to send Jesus in the form of man, hallelujah, coming through 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 the birth command, uh, birth canal of of a woman, just like we came uh, and was born through a woman, hallelujah, the birth canal, this, that, and the other. But the only thing was, Jesus was. In the, his conception was immaculate, meaning that there was no natural man involved in it whatsoever. It was spiritual, hallelujah, and it was such power inside of that spirit that Mary conceived. Mary was impregnated, hallelujah, by the Spirit of God, hallelujah. And so therefore, when we have the Spirit in us, when we have uh, utterances, or we, God has given us a revelation, hallelujah, and it just sits there, and we ponder, and we study, and study. That's just like being pregnant with a baby, hallelujah. And we're going to nourish it for a little while, hallelujah, until God is ready for us to, for it to uh, come forth inside of us, giving it to the body of Christ, inside of us, giving it to others, hallelujah, inside of us teaching it to others. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So now God is saying, hallelujah, I love you so much. 
and I have invested so much in you, hallelujah, that I don't even regret it. Even if you choose to backslide, I still don't regret it because I love you that much and I still love you so much until I want you to be victorious. And if you backslide, that's on you. It's not on me because that's a choice that you made. But I love you so much. I want you to be victorious. I want you to be a winner in this thing. I want you to be able, hallelujah, to, 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 to fight the enemy on every hand and win. Did you hear me what I say? And win. Hallelujah. That you will be able to fight the good fight of faith. Because when you come before me, hallelujah, I'm going to look at your record. Hallelujah. And I'm going to see, hallelujah, how you have fought, hallelujah, the enemy, how you have trusted me, hallelujah, how have you have stood on my word, hallelujah, how you have prayed to me, hallelujah, how you made supplications to me, glory, hallelujah, how you did everything, hallelujah, that Jesus did when he walked this earth. Jesus had to pray. Jesus had to steal away, hallelujah, hallelujah, not only to get some rest, but also to pray unto his father. Jesus had to fast and pray as well as we have to fast and pray. Jesus spoke the word just like we got the word in our mouth. Let not the word depart from your mouth. Hallelujah. Always have a word in your mouth. Hallelujah. Giving God all the praise and the glory because through faith, hallelujah, you believe his word. You believe, hallelujah, that he's the son of God. You believe, hallelujah, that Christ walked this earth and he died on the cross for us to save us from our sin. We believe, hallelujah, that God can do all things, hallelujah, through us. The Bible says I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. So therefore, I can't help but glorify because he's in me. He's in me. God didn't have to visit me on that Sunday night, hallelujah, and call me or uh, uh, call my name or uh, uh, sitting at my dining room table and save me right then and there. He didn't have to call my name, but he really knew, hallelujah, that I wanted him, hallelujah. And he called my name, and when he called my name, I answered. And that's one thing for sure, but when God called your name, you're going to answer. You're going to answer. Hallelujah. You're going to answer. You can't help but answer. Because he called your name. He had the correct pronunciation. He knows you. He know when you were conceived. He know your mother and father. He know your mother, mother's father, father, sister, sisters, and all of them. He knows your lineage. He knows everything. He knows your name. He knows who you are. He knows the contents of your soul. He knows the content of your character. He knows everything about you. He didn't have to go back and he had to look in some files, hallelujah, that was in storage, hallelujah, and then in storage number uh, 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 1589, this and another, and being 1589. No, he knows your name. He knows who you are. And he did not mind sharing who he was, hallelujah, and share himself with us, with you, with me. So therefore, hallelujah, we count it not robbery to have a mind like Christ. And he did not feel, and he was not threatened, nor did he compromise himself, hallelujah, to share himself with us. Did you hear me? He was not threatened. Nor did he compromise himself to share himself with us. Now that's love. That's love. Hallelujah. That's love. That right there, you cannot buy with any kind of money. Because God said, I give it to you because I love you and I give it to you because that's your inheritance because you are mine. You are mine. 
And so we thank God, hallelujah, for considering us as being little God that represents him in this earth as we live for him, hallelujah, and walk in the truth, hallelujah. The word is the truth, hallelujah, and abide, hallelujah, and have this as a lifestyle. God is saying, hallelujah, thank you. And he's waiting to give us that just reward, hallelujah, when we have finished our course. So therefore, be steadfast and always unmovable, always abounding in the word of God. Because God, hallelujah, is a wonderful God to serve. And Jesus, our Lord and Savior, hallelujah, has left a beautiful example for us to follow and be proud of our heritage in that we have such a rich heritage, hallelujah, because it says in the word that we are children of the Most High. We have a royal priesthood, hallelujah, royal, royalty, hallelujah, royalty, hallelujah, royalty, hallelujah. If we don't ever get to Buckingham Palace, hallelujah. If we don't ever get to England, hallelujah. To see Queen Elizabeth, hallelujah. And and, 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 and all, all of the servants and the princes and the kings, I know that you are a king, queen yourself, hallelujah, in Christ Jesus. Know, hallelujah, that your father is the king of kings, hallelujah, hallelujah. And Jesus is the Lord of lords, hallelujah. And so, therefore, we are of a royal priesthood, hallelujah. So, we are walking in royalty, hallelujah. Our heritage is that, hallelujah, of Christ himself, hallelujah, with all power in our hands because it just tells us, but the anointing which we have received of him abideth in you, hallelujah. This is John talking to us, it abides in you. Hallelujah. And so therefore, hallelujah, we don't we don't have to bow down our heads and, and, and come and, 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 and feel that we are inferior to anybody, even though the world has a system, hallelujah, to where they call majority and minority. But in Christ Jesus, it don't make no difference, hallelujah, because God is not about that, hallelujah. He's about, hallelujah, being about kingdom building, hallelujah, and restoration of a sin sick world in the darkness of this world hallelujah and he's using us to do it those who are willing to do it willing to follow him willing to to fight the good fight of faith willing to do kingdom building he's using us to do it when we said yes to his will yes to his way we're willing to do it we're willing to go where you want to send us. We're willing to do what he tells us to do. We believe in the word. We're obedient to the word. Hallelujah. Because we believe our Father. After all, he has proven himself to us. And he didn't have to prove himself. But he has proven himself to us. So therefore, on tonight, remember that. In Psalms 82, 6, I have said, ye are God, and all of you are children of the Most High. Those who have the anointing, the Spirit of God within them and abiding in them, know that we walk, hallelujah, in the power of our Father. And we are God's with a little G that walk in this earth representing our father good night and let 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 your light so shine so that others may see his good works hallelujah and therefore hallelujah i hope something was said glory be to god 
to you tonight to encourage you, hallelujah, and build you up in knowing, hallelujah, your heritage, hallelujah, knowing who you are inside of Christ Jesus and how much God loves you, hallelujah, and how much he has invested inside of your salvation and you keeping your salvation if you want to be kept. So therefore, if you would like, hallelujah, to join Continuing Truth Ministries, send us an email, hallelujah, at Continuing Truth Ministries at G gmail.com and if the church has been a blessing to you send a donation to support us hallelujah for there is much work to do glory be to god and we will forever be grateful hallelujah to us you can cash at that at ctm gathering hallelujah and may god continue to bless you hallelujah and keep you in these days hallelujah for we not know what tomorrow may bring but we know hallelujah who holds tomorrow and so therefore we anticipate hallelujah in walking hallelujah and continuing to walk in the spirit of our father good night